job in front of them. Percentage is going to be their biggest problem. But, you know, Ron's comment this morning in the paper told the story, you know, they're going to give it a good shot. And every mm -hmm. week, and their cooperation, their organisation and their belief in each other and their feeling for each other, the way they ran to support each other, indicates that they're going to take it right to the wire. And they are a good side and they could be better than some of the sides that get in. Well, let's have a look at some of the highlights of yesterday's game. We pick up the action 15 minutes into the second quarter. Chance for Sterrett. Jones is there. He can't keep it in play. Mr. Mandela gradually breaking away. You know, a three or four goal lead at half time in a game like this would be break. Well, they're 11 points in front. 5-11 to 4-6. Suvi to Taylor. Lamb. But it's all East from Adel at the moment. Taylor. Grand kick. And a brilliant mark to Sturrett. He's getting Reeves. Ah, father of a hiding. Yeah, I'm surprised at the coaching situation at Subiaco. And uh, I'm not just having a shot. I can't understand why there hasn't been a change made. Because Reeves seems content to run behind me today. Ray Sturrett being a live wire half forward. And that was a grand mark. 45 metres out. Started off to the left. Which he's done. It's come back. And a little too far. Yeah, she had to kick pretty well towards and just inside the left-hand goalpost to goal today. Yeah. And the way he ran it, that he moved to the right initially. And uh, he misses what he should kick, actually, uh, young Sterrett. It's all right to say he's only young, you know, but you learn to kick when you suck a dummy these days, and he's got to kick better for goals. Brown. Better kick. Trouble at the moment, Subiaco, they can't get the ball out. That's... Kick has been smothered, but it's a kick to Cassidy for a high tackle. Watch this fella kick. Well, he's on the wrong side, slightly on the wrong side, on the defensive side. He'll punch it out. Oh, he's going to run round Reeves, who's standing there. He'll kick from about 30 metres, and that is a delightful kick. Well, you know, you can call it... Advance, but I can tell you this much, he does the same thing all the time. He sells the dummy out, goes one way, comes back and then branches himself away to his, his right, plays on around the mark all the time. And Reeves is causing all sorts of problems in the Subiaco defence because he's not concentrating. He expects that what is normal football is going to happen all the time. He's not expecting the difficult. He's not expecting fellas who take marks to play on. He's not expecting fellas to play on around the mark. And he's playing uh, with a great lack of concentration. And really, the runner needs to shake him up. Nolan versus Keane. Keen to Lamb, McFall and Alexander. A couple of speedsters to Chapman. Browning closing. There's Browning, McFall, Chapman and Alexander. Chapman keeping the ball in. Can't or won't pick it up. Does now. Back with the McFall. Kelly. Don't mind him as a footballer either. No, he's uh, got a lot of flair and skill, um, but he drifts out of games. Well, he's in the left full forward pocket now, and Subi desperately need a goal. He hasn't given it to them, though. No, he did the right thing. He played on and tried to punch the ball hard into the bruise. So you need your luck, but uh, he played it right. So 6 12 48 is from Adel Subi 4 7 31. This is Shane Ellis to himself. Left foot from Ellis over the top crouch, but far too soon. And that'll be a kick to Greg Wilkinson. Not a lot offering in the Subi forward line. Alexander with a fist. Didn't have to worry because Shane Ellis marked it. Off to Browning. Browning in turn to Brennan. Brennan into the centre. Mario Turco. Taylor with courage. And Sterrett battling as hard as ever. Tremendous switching plate by young Brennan. Then he wasn't content to continue down the dead flank. He hooked the ball back through the middle of the ground. 48 to 31, the wind springing up. I'd say a rainstorm is not far away. Keen, Dean, Turco. Reeves running on the spot. And Crouch with the ball. 
Roger Crouch, a half forward. Reeves straight through his hands. Dreadful error from him. This allows the ease of Waterman to come in, and Reeves has paid the penalty again. Yes, and uh, he's from Mandel again. I thought that was good play by Roger Crouch. He switched the play rather than, as I've said before, continue down that dead side of the ground. It's disciplined football by the East Fremantle fellas. Crouch swung the ball back through the middle to give East Fremantle. If the ball fell or if someone possessed it from East Fremantle, it gave him a chance to score. Young Waterman sensibly stood to the deck, was prepared to remain cool under tackle, balanced and came away and finished it off. 20 minutes into the second quarter, East Fremantle 7 12 54, Subi 4 7 31. Keane. It was Taylor to Lamb. Well read by David Rankin. The only man who went for the ball, but Morton never even had a lick at it. Yeah. He's paid a 15 metre penalty to Cassidy. He'll play on. Ooh, Cassidy to Cormack. Oh. Cormack hand pass straight to the wrong man, and that was to Tucker. Tucker to Chapman, who should get a kick for a push. Shane Ellis, Kelly. Game livening up a little bit now. Yeah, sh should be sh shaking themselves up a bit, but they left it too late. That's a that's a winning break. 23 points. 30 metres out from Subi's goal. Nolan. Straight to Mort. Kelly. And to Taylor, who's going to be so sore by the time he gets up. This is Rankin for, uh, for East from Adel. To Cormac. Going to come down the attacking side. Cormac to Brennan. Left foot from Brennan to half forward. Stir it and Reeves. Kick it well read. Kick it in turn to Waterman. Waterman to Stir it. Stir it plenty of time. Straight to Taylor. This is good play by East from Andal. Best passage of the day. Certainly yesterday, Ron Alexander didn't make a blue, but of course he didn't have a lot to no, beat. Ron's in good form. But, He's doing a good job. But they're a well-balanced side. They've got plenty of run. And I think for the first time in a couple of years, a bit of that East Fremantle tradition is starting to creep back into the attitude of the players, and they're prepared to fight hard for the ball the and fight hard to the win. The rebound was what I liked. Cormac dashed down from half back and kicked a couple of goals, and young Brennan's reading and availability to Rankin is superb, and Rankin's sort of run out of defence was good. I thought they had a bit of trouble across the centre. I thought Tucker, I should have mentioned him for Serbia. I thought he did a good job even when he went up in the forward line. I thought he was on top on one wing, and I thought that... Uh, Lamb did well in the centre against Renstead, but kick it, he equalised that with a great performance. Well, let's have a look at some of the uh, highlights a little bit later on in the game. We pick them up now, early in the fourth quarter. Chapman, back to Tucker. Tucker left foot, Shane Ellis all the time in the world. The Mario Turco. Left foot from Turco. Cassidy. East from Adel really doing as they like at the moment. Oh, what Cassidy, a, a standing kick, straight to Jones is a beauty. He in turn to Watterson. Watterson into full four. Taylor! Oh! We knew he'd have to get one. And oh, I'll, that's the highlight of the day. And I'll tell you what he called Colin Watterson for that. I watched Taylor as, as Colin Watterson ran. And believe me, he called the big kick. He called the big kick and Watterson saw it and let it go. <laughs> and Tails has been waiting for that all day and he's copped it. And the crowd have come to life. The whole 32 of them. 25 metres out, almost directly in front. There's the kick, and he's capped off a fine mark with a good goal. Yeah, he's full of ability, this fellow, but that was good use of the ball by Colin Watterson. I, I really like to see this fellow moving out up the ground a little bit because he's... Uh, you know, his flair and his knowledge and his concentration is superb. And he came away with that ball and he saw Tails. Tails called it long, kick it a bit further than the man in front. And that's what he did. He set the back and up come Taylor up. And he's having a bit of a grin now to his immediate opponent, put his arms around him, uh, Leishman, and said, well, you know, you were set. There was no, no skin off your nose. It's all off the back of your head. I was going to say, he patted Leishman on the head, which is about where his boots were. Yeah, just as well he's not ball or the, ball or the marks at show. <laughs> Good stuff. And the umpire throwing the ball up, despite the patch in the middle. Caught with yet another tap and has ruck quite well. Clinton Browning. Crunch. Brick wall stuff, that. They're hugging each other to keep warm, I think. Off they go again. This bloke's Willie been good Jones to kick it. To kick it, who has been a fine link man between defence and attack. 
Someone's going to have a sore face. Kelly for Subiaco. Gets around Harding. Comes in towards the centre. Taylor almost pulled off another one. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to basketball bounce his way around court. Didn't come off. Dwayne Lamb, left centre wing. Towards left half forward, but Brennan read that superbly. He's right half forward. Top game, this young bloke. Yes, he has. Look at the use of the ball. Superb stuff. Straight to Cassidy. He's looking for 15 metres. That's all he needs to kick a goal. Yeah. Have a look at this. Look at the pass. Cormac. But look at the looseness of the defence. Hard, hard to know where, where the Cormac's playing off the half-back flank, half-forward flank or running on the ball. No, he's ruck-roving now. He's, uh, he's ruck-roved since Peter Wilson's uh, been injured. But okay. uh, they don't bother to pick him up much. There's his kick. And does it come back enough? It has. Good goal. Mm, gee whiz, just, squeeze, just squeaked in that one. Yeah, I reckon. That's Cormac second. He's done a good job too, Cormac. He's run well. He's looking a lot fitter to me. He's been free of injury for the last seven or eight weeks, and he's done a good job. That again was a classic case, but by gee, super you lose. You know, it's really picnic day when you can run around in your forward line, get 30 metres out of goals, so no one bothered to pick you up. Yeah. 16, 18, 114. He's from Adel Subi, 7, 10, 52. Very disappointing effort. 12 minutes into the final quarter. Nolan and Court. Turco. Greg Kelly. Gee, they could get more from him. Into the pocket. Brown. Can't get away from Shane Ellis that time. It was meant for Mick Lee. Rankin mops up superbly as he has done all day. Shane Ellis allowed it to bounce. Whoa! Missed. 22 is Braddy. Roger Crouch over the top. And there are the other scores. East Perth winning by as much as East Fremantle, so yeah. doesn't even make a dent in the percentage. That's right. Caught almost. Cormac. That was Renstead in the path of Jones. There's Taylor on the ground again. Kick it. Towards half forward. Taylor going for another one-hander. This is Dean. Left foot from Dean. Ooh. Straight to Renstead. He'll have to hurry. Yeah, through. Cassidy. Long kick. Ooh. A beauty. You want to see fellas kick a footy. Have a look at that. But that was well done, young by Renstead. Caught under possession. Knocked the ball out to Jeff Cassidy. Cassidy got a good voice too. He calls for the ball on all occasions. And this is an absolute picnic. You know, a good performance by East Fremantle under the conditions. But what a superb kick of the football this fella is. You know, very, very rarely in my knowledge of football or memory of watching football have I seen a better kick of the football than Jeff Cassidy. He was on the wrong side then too, on the defensive side. We've had to punch it up into the wind a bit and did it to perfection. 17-18 to 7-10, 120 to 52. Nolan and Court, line ball. 29 is Wilkinson. Out wide. Subiaco that time through Tucker. McFall and Alexander. And Alexander has creamed him. Not before it, it was given across to Neil Taylor. It's a good kick. Yep. Fall on his feet. Taylor 55 metres out. Brendan McFall almost marked that. Cormac very nicely. Jones moving already for him. But couldn't get there in time to prevent Tucker. He's gone short. Oh. Meant for uh, Brennan, but it went the uh, for Warner, but it went the wrong way. Well done by Rankin again. Only as far as Wilkinson this time. Alexander, yes, great place to take it. Right in front of your home grandstand. He's had a picnic on McFall. Actually, Alexander's been in the top category of East Fremantle good players today. Yep. Good kick out of defence too. Right to the centre. Taylor in between two. Lamb. Rankin waiting down and reads it superbly. Lee's not very interested in the party. No. For Browning. Browning from left centre wing unloads a bomb. Chance for Sterrett. Rod Brown is there for Subiaco. They will call the play on. 33 there is Scott. 21 Paul Hardy for East Fremantle. It's on their right half or forward of their right half forward flank. Harding. Out 
to Cassidy. Oh, look at this. Casual as you like. Renstead. Good diving effort by Brown. The hand pass has come out. They're in. East from Andal in again. That was well played to get it to Sterrett. And well, he should thank Russ Waterman, who was right in that with him. Yes, Waterman's a constructive player. He's doing quite a bit of the hard stuff around the grounds. He's worked his insides out there to win that ball against two Subi opponents. But by gee, there wasn't much pressure on this fella as he balanced, ducked and dived and uh, just waltzed. Dean, Cormac, shoved on by Chapman. It was Taylor to Kelly. And Kelly's oh, used that ball deliberately across there to get it to Clint Brown. He meant that good kick. kick of a football that was. He meant that kick. 25 metres out. And that's a handy goal into the kicks in this quarter. To half forward. This is Watterson versus Scott. Watterson has done it well. Left foot to full forward. What's he done? It's a goal. Uh, here it is, Colin Watterson. He is a very, very good left foot kicker. Very dangerous fellow once the goals open up for his left foot. Oh, that was a great bump yes, from it Waterman. Was, was a good one. Now called to play on. To kick it. Look at the breeze hold that ball up. There's a good mark taken again by Lester Smith. They are kicking from a long way up, though, CB. Even with the breeze, they should be working the ball closer to the goals, don't you think? Yeah, they're not setting up their play real well at all. That's a long kick. He's made an immediate liar of us. That's a superb goal to Michael Moore. Scott looking for Taylor. Taylor in a bit of trouble now as a hand pass from Waterman. Renstead, Sterrett. Wilson, Wilson to full forward, well played East from him. Nolan, but this is Taylor for Subi. A fine mark from behind, taken for East from Andal by Mike Brennan. He's a well built young fella, too. Chapman, now that's a grand mark. Meant for Taylor. Jones, inside 50 metres. Watterson. Good play across to Waterman and East from Adel's forward line is functioning beautifully. That's Harding's kick into the breeze. And a good mark to Reeves. That's and he for Fortnite. <laughs> Cormac finally out to Taylor. Isn't it wonderful to have somebody like that running past? Taylor from 55 metres has done it. Superb goal, 55 metres out that one with a wet ball. Straight to Jones is a beauty. He in turn to Watterson. Watterson into full forward. Taylor! We knew he'd have to get one.